Hey guys, today I'm gonna to show you how to make a fantastic summertime treat known as a waffle witch, essentially an ice cream sandwich made with waffles. The combination of the warm, fluffy waffles mixed with the creamy ice cream is what makes this dessert so delicious. Breyers Ice Cream is sponsoring this video and I'm collaborating with them to show you how you can make three delicious combinations using their ice cream. So first, let me show you how to make the waffle batter. Now, if you didn't wanna take the time to do this step, you certainly could use frozen waffles as well. So in a large bowl, we're going to add one and a half cups of all-purpose flour, one tablespoon of baking powder, a half a teaspoon of baking soda, a half a teaspoon of salt, and one tablespoon of sugar. You can go ahead and whisk that all together until it's combined. And then we're gonna add one cup of milk and three quarters cup of plain club soda. Now this is the secret ingredient because it is going to create a very light and fluffy waffle. This is a tip I learned from my Aunt Nancy years ago and my family has been doing it ever since. It is such a great way to get a very light and fluffy waffle. And then you can just whisk that all up until everything is combined. And then you wanna add two eggs, a teaspoon of vanilla, and eight tablespoons of melted butter. You can whisk that all up until everything is nice and smooth, and then your waffle batter is ready. Okay, so now that our waffle batter is ready to go, let me show you my three favorite combinations. I spent an evening with my family testing all of these different combos, and let me tell you, these three were the clear winners. So first up, the strawberry shortcake waffle witch. So the first thing you're gonna do is ladle out a little bit of the waffle batter into your preheated iron. Now, one of the things that I like to do is just use a small amount of batter. I actually don't want that whole well to be filled up. And the reason being is because I really find that these are really pretty when you get those jagged edges of the waffles, which is what will happen if you don't fill up the entire well. So that's just how I like it. You could certainly fill up the whole well if you like that look better. Then before you close your waffle iron, you're gonna take a lemon and just grate a little bit of fresh lemon zest into the batter. And what that will do is when you close that top to cook your waffle, that lemon zest will just get infused into the waffle, which is a really great flavor combination with the strawberries. Then once your waffle is done, you're gonna place one on a plate and then top with a generous scoop of Breyers Creamery style French vanilla ice cream. Spoon some sliced strawberries on top. Garnish with a little bit of roughly chopped mint. Top with your second waffle and then just to make it extra pretty, dust with some powdered sugar. I love this flavor combination because you've got that lightly scented lemon waffle underneath mixed with that rich ice cream, the freshness of the strawberries and the mint. It is just summertime in every little bite. So now for something a little bit more decadent, a waffle which I call black magic. Okay, so we're gonna ladle out our waffle batter just like we did before. And then to this waffle batter, we are going to add some Hershey's dark chocolate chippets. Oh yes, this is what is going to make this so delicious. Then you're gonna close the lid, let those cook, and then once your waffles are fully baked, you're gonna pop one on a plate, and then go ahead and top with a big scoop of Breyers dark cherry vanilla ice cream. Garnish with some sliced almonds. And then you can place the second waffle on top, dust with some powdered sugar, and there you have it, our second Waffle Witch. And when you dive into this Waffle Witch sandwich, you'll know why it's called Black Magic. You will definitely get under its spell. It is that delicious. You've got that combination of the dark chocolate in the waffle mixed with that dark cherry vanilla ice cream, the crunch of the almonds. It is a flavor combination that can't be beat. And finally, the Toffee Crunch Gelato Waffle Witch. So for this one, we're gonna ladle out our batter. And then to this batter, we're going to add a couple of score bits into the waffle batter. And this is gonna create that delicious toffee crunch into our waffle base. Go ahead and let it cook. And then once they're fully baked, you can take one out, pop it on the plate. And then for this waffle witch, we are going to top with a delicious scoop of Breyers Vanilla Caramel Gelato. Top with some chopped pecans. Place the other waffle on top. Dust with your powdered sugar. And there you have it, a really delicious flavor combination as well. I love this flavor combination because you've got the crunch of the score bits that have been baked into the waffle. 
that rich and creamy gelato on top, mixed with the buttery crunch of the pecans. It is such a great flavor combination. I love this Waffle Witch because it's sophisticated and would be perfect if you were serving this at a dinner party, but it's also a Waffle Witch, an ice cream sandwich, so it makes you feel like a big kid at the same time. So there you have it, my three favorite Waffle Witch combinations. I hope you guys give this a try this summer and let me know what you think. I think you will enjoy them as much as we do. And you can share your own Waffle Witch combinations on Instagram and Twitter using the hashtag Briar's Waffle Witch for a chance to win a fabulous prize. You can also check out some other great flavor combinations from some other YouTubers participating in the Waffle Witch campaign. I will leave you all the details in the description. Special thanks to Briar's Ice Cream for sponsoring this video and collaborating with me on these fabulous Waffle Witches. It's been great fun. All right, you guys, I'll see you back here next time for another easy and delicious recipe. Until then, bye.